Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be doing my skincare routine and the first thing that I do immediately is going with some baby oil and this just helps loosen up the makeup that's on my face and just help break it down so it's easier for me to clean everything. I really like using oil over makeup wipes just because makeup wipes I feel like they're way harsher than just doing this because oil it really just glides on and just it's easy to break everything down. But once I'm done with this, I don't wash off the oil immediately. I just go ahead and jump into washing my face. And I will be showing you the products in a second. There we go. But I like using the Shea Moisture Black African Soap along with my Clarisonic. And that's kind of how I transfer over the soap onto my brush. But I really like this soap because it is good for like acne skin and dull dry skin which is really what I needed especially during the winter time. So I have really fallen in love with this product so I definitely recommend it for anybody who has dry or acne prone skin. I don't really have acne prone skin but my skin did have a major breakout after finals just because like I was stressed out and stuff like that. But thanks to this soap, I really do believe that it's the reason why my skin has gone back to its normal state. And I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what the brush looks like after washing my face with the soap and the oil and stuff like that. I just like seeing stuff like that, so I kind of included it. But that's what the brush looks like and I just wash it out with water once I'm done. But after washing my face I always use cold water just to like seep or seal everything. And then next I'm going in with the Shea Moisture Clay and that's kind of what it looks like. I make sure I don't get it completely into a paste just so it's easier for me to put it on my brush which I'm just showing you how I'm removing the heads on my brush one is for cleansing and one is for exfoliating so yeah I use both of them for different purposes obviously and now what I do is I just go ahead and rub the clay on my face and then I just use the brush to kind of like wash my face but I'm not washing it with soap so I just do this until it becomes like a soapy material which you'll be able to see on my cheek And I really like doing this just because I do believe that it puts moisture back into my face after washing it and stuff like that. So like you can tell it's a soapy material now. That's kind of when I know like I should stop washing my face now. So I kind of just let it dry and seep into my skin a little bit more. And then this is when I, this is the only time I wash my face with hot water is after this. Just so I can make sure I get all of the residue and stuff off. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. And I really love the way my skin feels at this point of my routine. It feels so smooth and soft. Next, I'm going in with a old favorite of mine. And this is just when I see breakouts on my face or if I just want to prevent future, break future breakouts. I put this on the side of my nose and also on my forehead and then I go in with tea tree oil. I use this on my dark spots just to help lighten them especially on that scar on the side of my face and also on my dark circles. I'm trying to see if it'll help lighten them so that's kind of an experiment I'm doing right now. And then the last step in my routine is just to moisturize. So I really like this moisturizer just because it's kind of like a souffle type of texture I guess. And when I say you only need a little bit, that's literally all you need. So I just put this on the places where I didn't put the oil or the acne treatment. And I'm just really just going to rub that into my face.
And once I'm done with that, that is basically the end of my skincare routine. This is my skin afterwards. Hope you guys enjoy it because a lot of you guys requested it. But yeah, that's all I do. So don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.